looks at her claws again, then brightens at something behind Merida. The girl turns to find a will-o'-the-wisp floating nearby. A wisp! The bear pounces on the wisp, but it reappears beside her. Stop it! The wisp appears over Merida's head. Ma, no! The bear clamps at the wisp, then spots it elsewhere. Mom. As Eleanor chases the wisp, it flees through a tree, and she crashes. Kevin's help, my boy. Mom, I know you're scared. You're tired. You don't understand. But we've got to keep our heads. Just calm down. Listen. The bear's ears perk up. Merida shifts her wide-eyed gaze. Roving high among the trees, we glimpse the bear and the princess as they listen for the wisps standing still on the forest floor below. Eleanor and Merida turn to find the ghostly blue flame hovering about 20 yards away. More wisps appear, creating a trail of lights for them to follow. They will show us the way. As Eleanor and Merida set out on the illuminated path, our view rises up through the trees. Hovering over the treetops, we glimpse a mountain in the distance. As Eleanor and Merida walk through a dense fog, one of the ghostly flames beckons them, vanishing as they near.